Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 21st of February 2024. Oh, my voice is pretty low down at the moment. <laughs> That's because I've been speaking for the last couple of days. And unfortunately I have to speak again all day. Uh, so this is probably the only game I'm going to get out today. Uh, I'm not expecting to play any others. But uh, if I can, I will try. This of course is the Guardian's um, medium level puzzle I had to consider what it was there medium level sudoku came from the guardian i'll get on with that in just a second uh, when i was at primary school back in london um, i used to play for the school chess team i remember i always used to play and i can't remember much about it but i do remember i always used to play at number two because i could never quite beat my great rival <laughs> this other boy who was brilliant at chess and i never could beat him and uh, so I used to play at number two for the school team. I, when I went to secondary school, I gave up chess. I don't think it was in, of interest to me anymore. And I've never taken it up since, so I don't really know much about it anymore, I must admit. Uh, but I noticed an interesting story where an eight-year-old from Singapore has beaten a grandmaster. Can you imagine? Eight years old, that's a very young age to be beating a grandmaster with all the grandmaster's knowledge of, um, you know, gambits and techniques and stuff like that. That's amazing, isn't it? So congratulations to Ashwat Kaushik, I think his name is, who an eight-year-old who managed to be from Singapore, who managed to be a Polish grandmaster. Congratulations to you. Right, let's get on with the and. Uh, um, um, I hope you continue the game <laughs> into later life. Don't give it up like I did. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Uh, can I see anything? I saw something. On my, I dropped it again. My eye dropped it. Where were you? I saw you. And now I've lost you. Completely lost you. Never mind. I'll have to start again. Oh, here we go. Four blocking down here, down here, across there, and across there. We'll at least get ourselves a four in that location. Oh, here it was. This is what I saw. Two's across there and up there. That's going to put two into that square. And two down here and across there means that that's going to be a two. <clears throat> five is going to block this square. That gives us a five over there. The last square to... F oh, I've just realized something. I forgot to switch on. The start button. Have I actually hit the record button? I have. Uh, uh, I've forgotten to hit the... Oh, no, I have hit the start button. Okay, sorry. I don't know where I am this morning. <laughs> I was thinking uh, I hadn't hit the start button, but nope, we are okay. Sorry. <sighs> it's going to be one of those days. Uh, what am I doing now? Come back. Come on, come on, get with it. Okay, two blocking down here and two across here means that that's going to be a two. Two going up here and up here. That's going to be two. Two across there, two across there. We'll get ourselves a two there. Oh, that's the last digit. Two. Um... Can we finish those fours? Any chance? Not quite. Okay, what else do we put in? We put in a three here. Any news on that? Yep, we got three going up here and up here and across there. That gives me a three there. Uh, missing digits in these two squares are going to be six and eight, I believe. So we've got the six blocking across there. So there's our six and there's our eight. Six this way, six that way, and six up there means we'll get six in that square. And then six blocking these squares here and this six blocking here and six blocking there means we'll get a six there. There 
There's another six to be had over here. Oops. I think it's going to be a day of incorrect button presses and other mistakes. But fortunately, they won't be recorded because <laughs> that will be uh, later on today. And it won't be Sudoku. We have three blocking across there. That gives us three in that square. Oh, I suddenly feel pangs of hunger. Three's across here and here. It's definitely breakfast time. We have one blocking, excuse me, one blocking this square, one blocking this square here. So that's going to be a one. One blocking down here now means that's our one. And we can finish this block here with an eight. Eight blocks this square, so this is going to be eight. Missing digit here, five. Also missing digit up here is a five. Five blocks down there, that gives me a five in that square. Uh, seven blocks down here, so that must be seven in the bottom row, and nine finishes the bottom row. Uh, what are we looking for over here? Is it? No, it's not. Um, is it a nine? I think it is a nine. Okay, and that will leave us here with an eight. Bit noisy outside. Sorry if that's disturbing you. Right, what's left to get? Uh, ones. Any ones to be had very easily? Not sure. Threes. Any threes that we can grab very quickly? Not sure. Fours. Also not sure. Five. Uh, we got five blocking here, five blocking there. So that's going to be a five in that column. And now the one blocking this square means that that's going to be a one, and the missing number down here is an eight. Seven blocks this square. In that row, we need a seven. In that location, this will be a three. Three blocks across here, that means this is going to be three. And that's the final digit three, actually. Nine is the, the nine will fulfill this block here. And uh, what else do we have? Eight going up there. It's going to give me an eight in that square. Um, so what's missing here and here? It's five and nine, I think. So five across there. There's the five. This is a nine. And uh, down here. We're looking for ones seven. That's no good. Here we're looking for ones sevens and five. No, nope, can't finish that yet. All right, so let's turn over here. Let's turn to this left-hand section. Uh, we're looking here for four, seven, eight in those squares. Four, seven, eight. We've got four and seven in the same column. That must be our eight then. So eight down here and eight up there and eight across there means that that must be the final digit, eight. Uh, what's missing in these two squares? One and something, so one blocks up there. There's the one. What is the something? The something is a nine, I think. Okay, we've got nine down here and nine across there. So that finishes the nines. One more number to fill this column, which is five. Five across here, five down here means that's a five. 
uh, not much more now four blocking across here there's our four four blocking up there there's our four and the last number to go here is a seven we also need a seven there seven blocks across there there's a seven seven down puts seven into that square here's a one there's a one that's it it's all over uh so if i don't see you again today hopefully i'll see you again tomorrow which is my day off so should be have time to play some sudoku tomorrow bye bye